Warning. Strictly adults only. These are really great erotic movies, so have some patience while watching them. Do not fast forward as your daily porn. Okay, let's get started. These are the top 10 nastiest the most explicit movies the world has to offer. Number 1. Nymphomaniac. Volume 1, Volume 2. This is most definitely one of the longest crime drama films you'll ever witness. If I wanted to take my virginity, would that be a problem? No, I don't see a problem. I do. And I'm a nymphomaniac. It's one philosophical lecture after another, we with the only so relief being some hot steamy action and some A-list performances, what? looking at you, Yuma Thurman. <laughs> the two volumes are vastly different in terms of substance. The first film depicts an insatiable teenager with a tremendous craving for sex. In order to obtain the peak she took for casually in Volume 1, our protagonist explores a variety of fetishes and kinks in the second book. Volume 2 will deceive you into a false sense of security, since the topics are darker. Explore bodily mutilation, grooming, and grab sex with double penetration. Another people was that I've always demanded more from the sunset. More spectacular colors when the sun hit the horizon. That's perhaps my only sin. Number 2. Love. A humorous story according to reports, Gaspar No left Black Panther early because he couldn't handle the music. I'm curious how many people skip through the neutral masturbation scene at the beginning, which finishes with an orgasms. This film is completely lacking in substance. It would be a terrible book if there was no definite conclusion. Having said that, the filmmaker employs some excellent tricks to keep the audience hooked, but let's face it, people are more interested in a new picture than a sequel. I messed it all up. How could something so wonderful bring such great pain? Number 3. Nine Songs. By any sense of the imagination, this film is not a challenging viewing. You won't get disoriented trying to follow the plot. We'd find it less substantial than a Fifty Shades of Grey if it were a novel or a film. A fantastic bit of light erotica for couples to savor, with the intensity rising as the film progresses. Its nostalgic indie soundtrack simply adds to its charm. Number 4. Sexual Chronicles of a French Family. This film has a strange vibe to it in terms of feature films. It appears to have a very educational objective. This is how sex seems to many individuals at various phases of life. A virgin is going to have sex for the first time with his lover at the core of the film. We were introduced to the sexual adventures of the rest of his family while he painfully navigated these new seas. No. Number 5. In the realm of the senses. In the world of perception. This film is now quite fascinating. According to legend, this is based on true events that occurred in real life. The impassioned story of Batshit must be seen to be believed. Only ovaries, incisions, pee, blood, wow just wow come to mind. Number 6. Hugh Desire. This is another one of those films. You'll need a compass, a map, a sat nav, a GPS, a pen and paper to follow the directions on the first try. However, after seeing it a few times, I believe it's safe to conclude that it's all about individuals using sex to fix their issues. Our protagonist, on the other hand, is exploiting it to avoid confronting her father's death. Hey, oh, tu croyais bien qu'il y a que ça, hein? Ouais, ouais, ouais. 
et moi je vois pas trop mon futur ex-patron pour son intelligence. Number 7. Short Bus. I love sad films. Nope I was trying to be funny, you could be gay, you might be gay, you might not even be gay. Who wants your erotica combined with suicidal thoughts or a taste of your lovers not getting you off? Sounds enjoyable. You'll appreciate Short Bus, it appears that they tried to make it a comedy, but no matter who you are, you'd have to be somewhat bit dead inside if you said you saw this movie and were rolling about on the floor laughing at the conclusion of it. Number 8. Intimacy. Mark Rylance was in films like Intimacy in 2001, before winning an Oscar in 2016. Yes, this is the classic tale of someone attempting to blur the lines between a friends with benefits arrangement and a romantic connection. This film hasn't aged well, and it's mostly shot in fading light. If you want to check it out, there's a lot of substance in this one. I don't have the impression of being with anyone either. And what does she say about all this? I don't know, we don't talk. You didn't picture me like this! You didn't picture me like this! I didn't picture you at all, right? <sighs> Number 9. All About Anna. This one is hilarious, and it's extra F-rated. That's a female protagonist, screenwriter, and director. These factors alone do not make this an excellent film, in fact, it isn't even a decent film according to IMDb, which leads me to believe it is underappreciated. This one features adult actors Avidi and Eileen Daly. Number 10. Lie With Me. Lie With Me is a little bit problematic. It's a light fun sexy movie with characters you're not really going to empathize with, so you don't really care what happens to them. As besotted and loyal as our protagonist appears to be to the main love interest, you can't help thinking that she is rather easy. This one's beautiful shot with some warm tones, and it's very popular even to today, despite a moderate IMDb ranking. Here are a few honorable mentions. Gandu. Anatomy of Hell. Antichrist. Romance. Diet of Sex. Number 11. Caligula. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You've already done 10 and we haven't touched Caligula, but here I am bringing it up again. Tinto Brass manages to submerge this movie in a multitude of orgies, while being filled with listers who don't get their bits out. If you're invited to a toga party, ask if the people who invited you are Caligula fans. 
with Michael McDowell, Helen Murray, Peter O'Toole, and one of the largest production budgets of its time, there's certainly still a lot to admire here. Have you seen these kinds of films before? Which movie is your favorite? If you enjoy your movie short and entertaining, make sure to leave a comment about your thoughts on this video.